Hi, it's Angry Admin from AngrySysOps.com, and today we will take a deep dive into snapshots. The most important what you need to remember is that snapshots are not backups. Okay, let's start. Let me do some small introduction into snapshots. With snapshots, you can preserve the state of the virtual machine so that you can repeatedly return to the same state. A snapshot comprises a change log for the virtual disk, VMDK, the state of the virtual machine at a point in time that may or may not include the content of memory. When a snapshot is created, the base disk becomes read-only and all data is written to the delta or child disk. The delta represents the difference between the current state of the VM disk and the state that exists when you took the previous snapshot. On the VMFS data store, the delta disk is a sparse disk. Sparse disk use the copy on write mechanism when the virtual disk is empty until a write operation copies data to the disk. This optimization saves storage space. Now let's talk about snapshot operations. So creating snapshots. You can take a snapshot when a VM is powered on, powered off or suspended. If you are suspending a VM, wait until the suspend operation finish before you take a snapshot. When you create a memory snapshot, the snapshot captures the state of the VM memory and VM power settings. When you capture the VM memory state, the snapshot operation takes longer to complete. You may also see momentary lapse in response over the network. When you quiesce a VM, VMware tool quiesces the file system in the VM. The quiesce operation pauses or alters the state of running processes on the VM, especially processes that might modify information stored on the disk during a revert operation. To monitor the VMDK snapshot and base disk, which are currently being updated, you can run this command. Okay, that command will be in the video description as well. Where minus D highlights the difference between successive updates. You can run this command, again, will be in the description, to monitor the time stamp updates of the base disk to confirm the process is working. The result lists the files by the modification date. Now, once we know how to create a snapshot and monitor the process, the question is how to revert a snapshot. A revert of snapshot restores the parent snapshot one level up in the hierarchy from the you are here position. Revert to latest snapshot activates the parent snapshot of the current state of the VM. You can use the revert to option to restore any snapshot in the snapshot tree and makes the snapshot the parent snapshot of the current state of the VM. Subsequently, snapshot from this point create a new bunch of snapshot tree. Restoring snapshot has the following effects. The current disk and memory state are discarded. And the VM everts to the disk and memory state of the parent snapshot. Two, existing snapshot are not removed. You can restore those snapshot at any time. And three, if the snapshot includes the memory state, the VM is in the same power state as when you create the snapshot. 
Now let's talk about the fourth operation with a snapshot, which is deleting. Deleting a snapshot removes the snapshot from the snapshot manager. You can use the snapshot manager to delete a single snapshot or all snapshot in the snapshot tree. The snapshot files are consolidated and written to the parent snapshot disk and merge with VM-based disk. To delete a snapshot, a large amount of information must be read and written to disk. This process can reduce VM performance until consolidation is finished. Consolidating snapshots removes redundant disks and improves VM performance and saves storage space. The time it takes to delete snapshots and consolidate the snapshot files depends on the amount of data that the guest OS writes to the virtual disk after you take the last snapshot. Let's have a look now how to take a snapshot.